Hi everyone, my name is Miss Sarah from the Wixom Public Library and welcome to our instructional video for our tween craft salt shaker snowman. Okay, so we are going to go over the supplies that you should have picked up from the library in your bag and the supplies you're going to need from home before we get into the instructions. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Um, and if you want to share pictures of your finished product with us, we would love to see. Okay, so let's go over what you should have received in your bag from the library. So you were provided with a salt shaker with the lid on it still. You should have received a wooden ball and a strip of fabric. You should have a cup of white paint and a foam paintbrush. Uh, you should have some red buttons in a little baggie, and you should have some fake snow. So a baggie of fake snow. What you are not going to have in your bag is um, you're gonna need some uh, black and orange markers or whatever else you would like to make the face. You don't have to use markers, but we're going to for this video. Uh, if you want a different color or style of fabric for their scarf, you're welcome to use your own, but we provided you this and you're not gonna have glue. So for this video, I'm gonna use hot glue so that it'll dry really fast and I can show you how to make the whole thing. You can use regular glue, but it's gonna take longer to dry. So if you have hot glue at home, use that, awesome, but you can still use regular glue. It's just gonna take a while, okay? So let's get started with our instructions. Okay, let's get started. So you may want like a piece of paper or a tablecloth or a surface to work on because of the paint and the snow. The paint is acrylic paint. So it'll come off of your skin and it'll come off of surfaces like this table, but it will not come off of your clothes. So keep that in mind, okay? So we're gonna start by um, opening our salt shaker and we're gonna paint our wood ball. So I would recommend while you're painting, since it's a round surface, what I did is I would recommend just painting like a bit so that your fingers aren't, you're not putting fingerprints in it. Acrylic paint will dry really fast. So I would recommend just kind of going up until your fingers and then you can set it on either on top of your salt shaker or on top of your lid from your paint cup until it dries and then pick it up, flip it around and you can paint the other sides. So you, you can put on as many coats as you want to get it as white as you want. Um, it's up to you. So I'm gonna put this aside because I don't wanna wait for it to dry. And I've got one that's already painted how I want it. So first step after painting, we're gonna get out our snow. So you are given a pretty good amount of snow and you can use all of it. You can fill up your salt shaker. You can do a little bit so you can shake it. So that's what I did with our sample. I did it so I can fluff it and I can shake it. It is up to you. The snow is kind of messy and a little bit hard to get into the salt shaker just because it's so fluffy. So you're just gonna kind of put it in there. And this is why I put down paper so I don't have to be super careful. It's not as bad as glitter. So let's get our snow in there. And then scrape it up a little. So this stuff, it's easy to clean up in vacuum. It's just, it's a little messy getting it into the salt shaker. Okay. So fill it up as much as you want. So I'm gonna do about that. And make sure to close it up and you can clean it up later or I'm going to clean it up later. Okay, so we've got our snow in our salt shaker. So now we're going to put our head on to keep our snow in there. So make sure you have the amount that you want. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun. I'm just going to, and you can use regular glue too or tacky glue, whatever glue you've got available. I'm just going to go around and let's stick it on. So I'm gonna hold it on there. So I did this first just so I can kind of pick which side of my head I think looks the best. And that's the side I'm gonna glue my buttons on and my hat and my face. Okay, so I got my head on. 
Okay, so we're gonna do our scarf last because we want to have all the glue be dry before we do that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do my buttons over here. Okay, so if you are using a hot glue gun with your buttons, be super careful because they're small. So you were given a few buttons, um, I, but more than you can use all of them. You can just use one or two. You can use however many you want, okay? So I'm gonna use three. Okay, and remember, they don't have to be perfect because a snowman kind of the snow moves and melts and shifts. So it is okay, it'll look however you want it to look. Okay, and then our hat, I would recommend doing your hat before your face so you can kind of position the hat where you want it. So you can go on top, you can go to the side, whatever you want, I kind of like a jaunty look. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue, kind of carefully going around the edge. second okay so now we're gonna use I would recommend here let me take this off so we're gonna use our fabric and I'm gonna put my scarf on first just so that I know where I have room for my face so you can do your scarf however you want I think I'm gonna make mine a cozy scarf and wrap it around we gave you a pretty long piece so if you don't want to use the whole thing that is okay but you can move your scarf and we're not going to glue this in place because that way you can change it up if you want and move it around. Okay, so we've got our scarf. We've got everything except for our face. So I'm using markers. And again, you can use if you've got little whatever you want to use to make your face is up to you. But I'm just going to draw some eyes. Remember that because like a snowman, they're coal made of coal so they don't need to be perfect circles they don't need to be and remember carrots are not all perfect either so you can make it kind of a rough shape because they carrots are kind of bumpy and strange and we're just going to make little coal mouths and you can go however much you want Okay, so again, yours might take longer, especially if you're not using hot glue because you're going to need to wait for things to dry. But otherwise, you have a salt shaker snowman. So remember, if you have any questions or you are missing supplies, feel free to email and share your pictures of your finished product with us. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoy your craft.